In differential geometry, the frenet serret formulas describe the kinematic properties of a particle moving along a continuous, differentiable curve in three-dimensional Euclidean space 3, or the geometric properties of the curve itself irrespective of any motion. More specifically, the formulas describe the derivatives of the so-called tangent, normal, and binormal unit vectors in terms of each other. The formulas are named after the two French mathematicians who independently discovered them, Jean-Frédéric Frenet, in his thesis of 1847, and Joseph Alfred Serret in 1851. Vector notation and linear algebra currently used to write these formulas were not yet in use at the time of their discovery. The tangent, normal, and binormal unit vectors, often called T, N, and B, or collectively the frenet serret frame or T and B frame, together form an orthonormal basis spanning three and are defined as follows. T is the unit vector tangent to the curve, pointing in the direction of motion. N is the normal unit vector, the derivative of T with respect to the arc length parameter of the curve, divided by its length. B is the binormal unit vector, the cross product of T and N. The Frenet Serret formulas are DTDS equals kappa N, DNDS equals minus kappa T plus tau B, DBDS equals minus tau N, display style begin aligned DFRAC D Math BF T DS and equals N kappa Math BF N, DFRAC D Math BF N DS and equals N kappa Math BF T plus tau Math BF B, DFRAC D Math BF B DS and equals N tau Math BF N, end aligned where D per deci second is the derivative with respect to arc length, kappa is the curvature, and tau is the torsion of the curve. The two scalars kappa and tau effectively define the curvature and torsion of a space curve. The associated collection, T, N, B, kappa, and tau, is called the frenet serret apparatus. Intuitively, curvature measures the failure of a curve to be a straight line, while torsion measures the failure of a curve to be planar. Definitions <laughs> 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 Let R t be a curve in Euclidean space, representing the position vector of the particle as a function of time. The frenet serret formulas apply to curves which are non-degenerate, which roughly means that they have non-zero curvature. More formally, in this situation the velocity vector R t and the acceleration vector R t are required not to be proportional. Let S t represent the arc length which the particle has moved along the curve in time t. The quantity s is used to give the curve traced out by the trajectory of the particle a natural parametrization by arc length, since many different particle paths may trace out the same geometrical curve by traversing it at different rates. In detail, s is given by s t equals 0 t r sigma d sigma Display style s t equals in underscore zero carrot t math bf r sigma d sigma. Moreover, since we have assumed that r does not equal zero, it follows that s t is a strictly monotonically increasing function. Therefore, it is possible to solve for t as a function of s, and thus to write reviews equals r t s. The curve is thus parametrized in a preferred manner by its arc length. With a non-degenerate curve Rs, parameterized by its arc length, it is now possible to define the frenet serret frame, or TNB frame. The tangent unit vector T is defined as T equals D R D S D R D S 1 Display style Math BF T equals frac D Math BF R D S over left frac D Math BF R D S right Q quad Q quad one The normal unit vector N is defined as N equals D T D S D T D S two Display style Math BF N equals frac D Math BF T DS over left frac D Math BF T DS right Q quad Q quad two. The binormal unit vector B is defined as the cross product of T and N B equals T times N three. Display style Math BF B equals Math BF T times Math BF N Q quad Q quad three. 
from equation 2 it follows since t always has unit magnitude that n the change of t is always perpendicular to t since there is no change in direction of t from equation 3 it follows that b is always perpendicular to both t and n thus the three unit vectors t n and b are all perpendicular to each other the frenet serret formulas are d t d s equals kappa n d n d s equals minus kappa t plus tau b d b d s equals minus tau n Display style begin matrix frac D Math BF T D S and equals an N kappa Math BF N and an N frac D Math BF N D S and equals an kappa Math BF T and an plus Tau Math BF B and an N frac D Math BF B D S and equals an N Tau Math BF N and end matrix where kappa display style kappa is the curvature and tau display style tau is the torsion. The frenet serret formulas are also known as frenet serret theorem, and can be stated more concisely using matrix notation. T n b equals zero kappa zero minus kappa zero tau zero minus tau zero T n b display style begin b matrix math b f t math b f n math b f b end b matrix equals begin b matrix zero and kappa and zero kappa and zero and tau zero and tau and zero end b matrix begin b matrix math b f t math b f n math b f b end b matrix this matrix is skew symmetric topic <laughs> formulas in n dimensions the frenet serret formulas were generalized to higher dimensional euclidean spaces by camille jordan in 1874 Suppose that Rs is a smooth curve in Rn parametrized by arc length and that the first n derivatives of R are linearly independent the vectors in the frenet serret frame are an orthonormal basis constructed by applying the Gram-Schmidt process to the vectors R S R S R N S. In detail, the unit tangent vector is the first frenet vector E1 S and is defined as E1 S equals R S. Display style math bf E underscore 1 S equals math bf R S. The normal vector, sometimes called the curvature vector, indicates the deviance of the curve from being a straight line. It is defined as E two S equals R S minus R S E one S E one Display style overline Math BF E underscore two S equals Math BF R S Langle Math BF R S Math BF E underscore one S Wrangle Math BF E underscore one S Its normalized form, the unit normal vector, is the second frenet vector E two S and defined as E two S equals E two S E Two S Display style Math BF E underscore two S equals frac overline Math BF E underscore two S overline Math BF E underscore two S The tangent and the normal vector at point S define the osculating plane at point R S. The remaining vectors in the frame, the binormal, trinormal, etc., are defined similarly by E J S equals e j s e j s display style begin aligned math bf e underscore j s equals frac overline math bf e underscore j s overline math bf e underscore j s m box end aligned e j s equals r J S minus I equals one 
J minus one R J S E I S E I S Display style begin aligned overline math BF E underscore J S equals math BF R carrot J S sum underscore I equals one carrot J one Langle math BF R carrot J S math BF E underscore I S wrangle math BF E underscore I S end aligned The real valued functions chi is are called generalized curvature and are defined as chi I S equals I S E I plus one S R S Display style G underscore I S equals frac Langle Math BF E underscore I S Math BF E underscore I plus one S Wrangle Math BF R S The Frenet Serret formulas, stated in matrix language, are E one S E N S equals Display style begin aligned begin B matrix Math BF E underscore one S V D O T S Math BF E underscore N S and B matrix equals end aligned zero Chi one S zero minus Chi one S zero Chi N minus one S zero minus Chi N minus one S zero E one S E N S display style begin aligned begin B matrix zero and Chi underscore one S and and zero Chi underscore one S and D dots and D dots and and D dots and zero and Chi underscore N one S zero and and Chi underscore N one S and zero end B matrix begin B matrix Math BF E underscore one S V D O T S Math BF E underscore N S end B matrix end aligned Topic proof Consider the matrix Q equals T N B display style Q equals left begin matrix Math BF T Math BF N Math BF B end matrix right the rows of this matrix are mutually perpendicular unit vectors, an orthonormal basis of three. As a result, the transpose of Q is equal to the inverse of Q. Q is an orthogonal matrix. It suffices to show that DQ DS QT equals zero kappa zero minus kappa zero tau zero minus tau zero display style left frac DQ DS right Q carrot T equals left begin matrix zero and kappa and zero kappa and zero and tau zero and tau and zero end matrix right note the first row of this equation already holds by definition of the normal n and curvature kappa so it suffices to show that DQ per deci second quart is a skew symmetric matrix. Since I equals Q Q T, taking a derivative and applying the product rule yields zero equals D I D S equals D Q D S Q T plus Q D Q D S T D Q D S Q T equals minus D Q D S Q T T Display style begin aligned zero equals frac die ds equals left frac dq ds right q carrot t plus q left frac dq ds right carrot t implies left frac dq ds right q carrot t equals left left frac dq ds right q carrot t right carrot t end aligned, which establishes the required skew symmetry. Topic. Applications and interpretation Topic. Kinematics of the frame The frenet serret frame consisting of the tangent T, normal N, and binormal B collectively forms an orthonormal basis of three space. 
At each point of the curve, this attaches a frame of reference or rectilinear coordinate system see image. The frenet serret formulas admit a kinematic interpretation. Imagine that an observer moves along the curve in time, using the attached frame at each point as her coordinate system. The frenet serret formulas mean that this coordinate system is constantly rotating as an observer moves along the curve. Hence, this coordinate system is always non-inertial. The angular momentum of the observer's coordinate system is proportional to the Darbo vector of the frame. Concretely, suppose that the observer carries an inertial top or gyroscope with her along the curve. If the axis of the top points along the tangent to the curve, then it will be observed to rotate about its axis with angular velocity tau relative to the observer's non-inertial coordinate system. If, on the other hand, the axis of the top points in the binormal direction, then it is observed to rotate with angular velocity kappa. This is easily visualized in the case when the curvature is a positive constant and the torsion vanishes. The observer is then in uniform circular motion. If the top points in the direction of the binormal, then by conservation of angular momentum it must rotate in the opposite direction of the circular motion. In the limiting case when the curvature vanishes, the observer's normal processes about the tangent vector, and similarly the top will rotate in the opposite direction of this precession. The general case is illustrated below. There are further illustrations on Wikimedia. Applications. The kinematics of the frame have many applications in the sciences. In the life sciences, particularly in models of microbial motion, considerations of the frenet serret frame have been used to explain the mechanism by which a moving organism in a viscous medium changes its direction. In physics, the frenet serret frame is useful when it is impossible or inconvenient to assign a natural coordinate system for a trajectory. Such is often the case, for instance, in relativity theory. Within this setting, frenet serret frames have been used to model the precession of a gyroscope in a gravitational well. Topic. Graphical illustrations Example of a moving frenet basis T in blue, N in green, B in purple along Viviani's curve. On the example of a torus knot, the tangent vector T, the normal vector N, and the binormal vector B, along with the curvature kappa S, and the torsion tau S are displayed. At the peaks of the torsion function the rotation of the frenet serret frame T, N, B around the tangent vector is clearly visible. The kinematic significance of the curvature is best illustrated with plane curves having constant torsion equal to zero. See the page on curvature of plane curves. Topic: <laughs> frenet serret formulas in calculus. The frenet serret formulas are frequently introduced in courses on multivariable calculus as a companion to the study of space curves such as the helix. A helix can be characterized by the height 2 pi h and radius r of a single turn. The curvature and torsion of a helix with constant radius are given by the formulas kappa equals r r 2 plus h 2 display style kappa equals frac r r caret 2 plus h caret 2 tau equals plus or minus h r 2 plus h 2 display style tau equals pm frac h r caret 2 plus h caret 2 the sign of the torsion is determined by the right-handed or left-handed sense in which the helix twists around its central axis Explicitly, the parametrization of a single turn of a right-handed helix with height 2 pi h and radius r is x equals r cos t y equals r sin t z equals h t 0 t 2 pi and, for a left-handed helix x equals r cos t y equals minus r sin t z equals h t 0 t 2 pi. Note that these are not the arc length parametrizations in which case, each of x, y, and z would need to be divided by h 2 plus R two display style sqrt h caret two plus r caret two. In his expository writings on the geometry of curves, Rudy Rucker employs the model of a slinky to explain the meaning of the torsion and curvature. The slinky, he says, is characterized by the property that the quantity a two equals 
H two plus R two Display style a carrot two equals h carrot two plus r carrot two remains constant if the slinky is vertically stretched out along its central axis. Here two pi h is the height of a single twist of the slinky, and r the radius. In particular, curvature and torsion are complementary in the sense that the torsion can be increased at the expense of curvature by stretching out the slinky. Topic: <laughs> Taylor expansion. Repeatedly differentiating the curve and applying the frenet serret formulas gives the following Taylor approximation to the curve near S equals zero R S equals R zero plus S minus S three Kappa two zero six T zero plus S two Kappa zero two plus S three Kappa zero six N zero plus S three Kappa zero Tau Zero six B zero plus O S three Display style Math BF R S equals Math BF R zero plus left S frac S carrot three Kappa carrot two zero six right Math BF T zero plus left frac S carrot two Kappa zero two plus frac S carrot three Kappa zero six right Math BF N zero plus left frac S carrot three Kappa zero Tau zero six right Math BF B zero plus O S carrot three for a generic curve with non-vanishing torsion, the projection of the curve onto various coordinate planes in the T, N, B coordinate system at S equals zero have the following interpretations. The osculating plane is the plane containing T and N. The projection of the curve onto this plane has the form R zero plus S T zero plus S two. Kappa zero two N zero plus O S two Display style Math BF R zero plus S Math BF T zero plus frac S carrot two Kappa zero two Math BF N zero plus O S carrot two This is a parabola up to terms of order O S two, whose curvature at zero is equal to Kappa zero. The normal plane is the plane containing n and b. The projection of the curve onto this plane has the form r zero plus s two kappa zero two plus s three kappa zero six n zero plus S three Kappa zero Tau zero six B zero plus O S three Display style Math BF R zero plus left frac S carrot two Kappa zero two plus frac S carrot three Kappa zero six right Math BF N zero plus left frac S carrot three Kappa zero Tau zero six right Math BF B zero plus O S carrot three which is a cuspidal cubic to order O S three. The rectifying plane is the plane containing T and B. The projection of the curve onto this plane is R zero plus S minus S three Kappa two zero six T zero plus S three Kappa 
zero tau zero six B zero plus O S three Display style math BF R zero plus left S frac S carrot three kappa carrot two zero six right math BF T zero plus left frac S carrot three kappa zero tau zero six right math BF B zero plus O S carrot three which traces out the graph of a cubic polynomial to order O S three. Topic Ribbons and tubes The frenet serret apparatus allows one to define certain optimal ribbons and tubes centered around a curve. These have diverse applications in materials science and elasticity theory, as well as to computer graphics. A frenet ribbon along a curve C is the surface traced out by sweeping the line segment minus n, n, generated by the unit normal along the curve. Geometrically, a ribbon is a piece of the envelope of the osculating planes of the curve. Symbolically, the ribbon R has the following parametrization. R S T equals C S plus T N minus one T one Display style R S T equals C's plus T Math BF N quad minus one L E Q T L E Q one In particular, the binormal B is a unit vector normal to the ribbon. Moreover, the ribbon is a ruled surface whose regularly are the line segments spanned by n thus each of the frame vectors t, n, and b can be visualized entirely in terms of the Frenet ribbon. The Gauss curvature of a Frenet ribbon vanishes, and so it is a developable surface. Geometrically, it is possible to roll a plane along the ribbon without slipping or twisting so that the regulus always remains within the plane. The ribbon then traces out a ribbon in the plane possibly with multiple sheets. The curve C also traces out a curve CP in the plane, whose curvature is given in terms of the curvature and torsion of C by kappa P S equals plus or minus kappa S two plus tau S two Display style kappa underscore p s equals p m s q r t kappa s carrot two plus tau s carrot two. This fact gives a general procedure for constructing any Frenet ribbon. Intuitively, one can cut out a curved ribbon from a flat piece of paper. Then, by bending the ribbon out into space without tearing it, one produces a Frenet ribbon. In the simple case of the slinky, the ribbon is several turns of an annulus in the plane, and bending it up into space corresponds to stretching out the slinky. Congruence of curves In classical Euclidean geometry, one is interested in studying the properties of figures in the plane which are invariant under congruence, so that if two figures are congruent then they must have the same properties. The frenet serret apparatus presents the curvature and torsion as numerical invariants of a space curve. Roughly speaking, two curves C and C in space are congruent if one can be rigidly moved to the other. A rigid motion consists of a combination of a translation and a rotation. A translation moves one point of C to a point of C. The rotation then adjusts the orientation of the curve C to line up with that of C. Such a combination of translation and rotation is called a Euclidean motion. In terms of the parametrization R t defining the first curve C, a general Euclidean motion of C is a composite of the following operations. Translation R T R T plus V, where V is a constant vector. Rotation R T plus V M R T plus V, where M is the matrix of a rotation. The Frenet serret frame is particularly well behaved with regard to Euclidean motions. First, since T, N, and B can all be given as successive derivatives of the parametrization of the curve, each of them is insensitive to the addition of a constant vector to R T. Intuitively, the T and B frame attached to R T is the same as the T and B frame attached to the new curve R T plus V. This leaves only the rotations to consider. Intuitively, if we apply rotation M to the curve, then the T and B frame also rotates. More precisely, the matrix Q whose rows are the T and B vectors of the Frenet serret frame changes by the matrix of a rotation Q Q M 
Display style Q, right arrow Q M. A fortiori, the matrix DQ per deci second quart is unaffected by a rotation D Q M D S Q M T equals D Q D S M M T Q T equals D Q D S Q T Display style left frac D Q M D S right Q M carrot T equals left frac D Q D S right M M carrot T Q carrot T equals left frac D Q D S right Q carrot T Since M M T equals I for the matrix of a rotation Hence the entries kappa and tau of dq per decisecond quarter are invariants of the curve under Euclidean motions. If a Euclidean motion is applied to a curve, then the resulting curve has the same curvature and torsion. Moreover, using the frenet serret frame, one can also prove the converse. Any two curves having the same curvature and torsion functions must be congruent by a Euclidean motion. Roughly speaking, the frenet serret formulas express the Darbo derivative of the TNB frame. If the Darbo derivatives of two frames are equal, then a version of the fundamental theorem of calculus asserts that the curves are congruent. In particular, the curvature and torsion are a complete set of invariants for a curve in three dimensions. Other expressions of the frame The formulas given above for t, n, and b depend on the curve being given in terms of the arc length parameter. This is a natural assumption in Euclidean geometry, because the arc length is a Euclidean invariant of the curve. In the terminology of physics, the arc length parametrization is a natural choice of gauge. However, it may be awkward to work with in practice. A number of other equivalent expressions are available. Suppose that the curve is given by r t, where the parameter t need no longer be arc length. Then the unit tangent vector t may be written as t t equals R T R T Display style Math BF T T equals frac Math BF R T Math BF R T The normal vector N takes the form N T equals T T T T equals R T times R T times R T R T R T times R T Display style Math BF N T equals frac Math BF T T Math BF T T equals frac Math BF R T times left Math BF R T times Math BF R T right left Math BF R T right left Math BF R T times Math BF R T right The binormal B is then B T equals T T times N T equals R T times R T R T times R T Display style Math BF B T equals Math BF T T times Math BF N T equals Frac Math BF R T times Math BF R T Math BF R T times Math BF R T An alternative way to arrive at the same expressions is to take the first three derivatives of the curve R T R T R T and to apply the Gram Schmidt process. The resulting ordered orthonormal basis is precisely the TNB frame. This procedure also generalizes to produce Frenet frames in higher dimensions. In terms of the parameter t, the Frenet serret formulas pick up an additional factor of r t because of the chain rule. d d t t n b equals r 
T zero Kappa zero minus Kappa zero Tau zero minus Tau zero T N B Display style frac D D T begin B matrix Math BF T Math BF N Math BF B N B matrix equals Math BF R T begin B matrix zero and Kappa and zero Kappa and zero and Tau zero and Tau and zero end B matrix begin B matrix Math BF T Math BF N Math BF B end B matrix explicit expressions for the curvature and torsion may be computed. For example, kappa equals r t times r t r t three. Display style kappa equals frac math bf r t times math bf r t math bf r t caret three. The torsion may be expressed using a scalar triple product as follows: tau equals r t r t r t r T times R T two Display style tau equals frac Math BF R T Math BF R T Math BF R T Math BF R T times Math BF R T carrot two Topic Special cases If the curvature is always zero then the curve will be a straight line. Here the vectors n, b and the torsion are not well defined. If the torsion is always zero then the curve will lie in a plane. A curve may have non-zero curvature and zero torsion. For example, the circle of radius r given by r t equals r cos t, r sin t, zero in the z equals zero plane has zero torsion and curvature equal to one, r. The converse, however, is false. That is, a regular curve with non-zero torsion must have non-zero curvature. This is just the contrapositive of the fact that zero curvature implies zero torsion. A helix has constant curvature and constant torsion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plane curves. Given a curve contained on the xy plane, its tangent vector t is also contained on that plane. Its binormal vector b can be naturally postulated to coincide with the normal to the plane along the z-axis. Finally, the curve normal can be found completing the right-handed system, n equals b times t. This form is well defined even when the curvature is zero. For example, the normal to a straight line on a plane will be perpendicular to the tangent, all coplanar. Equals. <laughs> Topic. See also. equals affine geometry of curves differential geometry of curves darbo frame kinematics moving frame equals equals notes <laughs>